All right, guys, opening day of the Renaissance Fair. Who's excited? Come on, guys, we're not paying you $4 an hour to just sit around and do nothing. Who's excited? Yay! Yay! Now that's what I like to hear. Princess be pretty, elf be magical, bread maker, make bread. Let's have a fantastic day, guys. Wow, that is a really pretty dress. You know, I'm not sure if you fill it out all the way you're lacking a bit in the decolletage. Uh, I think I'm fine. I don't have to squeeze into that corset you use every day. Well, that's not very historically accurate of you. Well, neither is taking calls from your boyfriend in the middle of the work day, but I don't discuss that, do I? I don't know what lady problems you're talking about, but the are to use your dialects. This is a renaissance fair, not a middle school sleepover. My most humble apologies. Yeah, apologies. Oh yeah, keep beating that dough. Maybe it'll be some common sense in the end. No. Silence, wench. Yeast, what's up her butt? Get it? Cause it's like yeast, cause it's bread. No, it's, it's fine. May didn't continue forth with your day job. You're not a comedian. Thanks. Well, what a handsome young boy you are! Are you the princess? My mom said you were the pretty one. Why, yes, that's me. Guess she's a liar then. Well, that's hardly the kindest thing to say to a princess. I wouldn't say it to a pretty one. It's all part of the job, mistresses. Just smile and nod. This job sucks. Dialect! This profession? Suck it. Well, maybe if you acted more like a proper princess, it wouldn't suck it that much. All right, guys, how are we feeling? We are so excited to please the hundreds of people we see every day. And that's what I like to hear. Elf, you should really act more like our princess, yeah? Okay. Act more like V? V? Can you believe that? V should be acting like me. I'm so good at my job that I lend my talents for free. And you can't put a price tag on this talent, but they did, and it was zero. But you know what? That builds character on that is what's important. Did you choose to work for free because we're all getting paid? The best thing you'll get out of child labor for a renaissance fair is never getting broken up with. Because your elf years girl will tell any woman other than your mother. You know, if I were a princess, I would never speak down upon my co-workers like that. You just did like- You make me sick. Ladies, dialect! I am nauseous when I lay mine eyes upon thee. You realize that's also an insult, even if you do it in broken Shakespearean English? Oh my gosh, sometimes you are just so... Well, if it isn't my favorite villager, what can I do for you today? I want bread. Your wish is my command, and what bread do ye yearn for? Big bread. Alrighty then, just one second. I need bread. You think a princess would mind her manners? What? No, I didn't hear you say please. I literally just need bread. No, you royals disgust me. Okay, I'm kinda lost. For years, you royals have sat upon your high throne watching us peasants suffer. No, I have had enough of your slander against us hard workers. I have had enough of people lying to me. It's always, how is the princess? How is the princess doing today? Never, how is the bread maker? Wow, this bread is delicious. You know what? I have that sweat and flour. You're actually very beautiful. You would make a great princess. No, I never get to be the princess. My dough never freaking rises and Eric keeps cheating on me. That's what this is about. It's all piling up. You know you don't deserve him. You can do so much better than that. He said he would change. You know, that's what they all say. I mean, look at you. You've been acting mean all day. No, I'm sorry. He just gets under my skin. It's like he turns me into a different person. It's okay. It's fine. Maiden. I understand that both of thee do not care about thy per careers in professional renaissance roleplay, but I do. Ye art a disgrace to this fair, and thee disgust me. You know what? I think I'm going to take my break. This is just too much for me. Okay. I just wanted some bread. Take the bread and leave, okay? There are bigger things to talk about right now. Oh my gosh, kids these days. All right, lads and lassies, how are we doing? Where's our bread maker? Oh, she had to take a break. Eric came back. Eric's back? Okay, oh my god, I really thought he was gone for good. Wait, wait, let me guess, he cheated again? Yes, I don't know how many more times she can take this. Not good. Can somebody help me? 
Oh. Well, what can I help you with, young man? I think this bread you gave me was old. <laughs> I'm done! I'm done with this place! Nobody doth take my career seriously! I join the Renaissance Fair to bring joy to children and satisfy my own craving for medieval roleplay! Not to get laughed at and thrown up on! This work environment is terrible! This fair is just a joke to all of you! I should have just got a job at one of those mystery show dinner places like my mother told me to do. But no, I had to be different and be a stupid elf at a stupid renaissance fair. Well, I quit! I quit! Farewell, the lumps of foul maggots! Thank God, I was so sick of that kid. Me too, I mean, what was with the dialect? He did it all the time. Like, even on breaks. He was a good worker, though. Yeah, there's that. Alright, well, we're down in a man and we've got a renaissance fair to run here. Hey, kid! Yes, you're the one who threw up. How would you like to be an elf? It's Friday night! Featuring Victoria Barefoot. Quinn Buffner. Zane Heinlein. Ava Knudsen. Ashna Patel. Rachel Rudolph. Musical guest Jane Heidkamp. And your hosts, Carter Kletch and Armand Karbassian. Yes, thank you, thank you to all of you at home who are definitely applauding. We're so glad to be here tonight hosting the first episode of Friday Nights. It's like a watered down, over-censored version of this other show called Saturday Night Live. You might have heard of it. It wasn't hard to get onto the show, by the way. I mean, we literally hijacked a theater group chat. Tim was off the keychain. And they still let us host the first episode. But we hope you're all staying safe during this pandemic because it has affected us all. Armand and I have tried to make the most out of it by learning German. Here are a few words that we learned so far. Entschuldigung, which means I'm sorry. Die Nacher Wissenschaft, which just means science. Kumusbeck, which means sad bacon. Osterreich, better known as Austria. Ich madich, which means I like you. Anyways, we recently went back to school, and that was fun. Canvas, the platform for which the entire school system for the state is based on, crashed for a lot of people. I mean, CMS literally put up a firewall preventing me from accessing it. That's your own website! I mean, did you not expect anything like that to happen when the whole state tried to log in? Right? It was, it was ridiculous. They literally blocked me from accessing their website. I mean, how stupid do you have to be? It was... Anyhow, if you're in school right now, you probably know what a breakout room. Basically, it's when the teacher randomly assigns you to a group and then forces you to go socialize. It kind of sucks. They're so awkward and make you sweat. You... you sweat in those? And you always get the same types of people in them. The really overzealous kid whose parents beat him if he gets blown 99. The really sleepy dude who just woke up in his pajamas. The one, two, or three people with LEDs in their room because they think it makes them unique. And the one genuinely nice guy. Those exist? The very rare in the wild. Just like a well-thought-out government institution. Speaking of, we recently got our driving license and didn't have to take a test due to the pandemic. Yeah, but we had our patients tested. Standing there for hours just to hand someone behind a sneeze guard four papers. The whole process was horribly inefficient, but it's the government. The same one that put a firewall against me when I tried to get an education. And there's always the same sassy woman at the front desk. If you go on Google Maps, most DMVs have a two and a half star rating or lower. One of the reviews said, and I quote, First of all, since y'all like attitude, I'll give it to you. If you open an 8 and not 7, then update your website. Second of all, I am the customer. Don't have an attitude with me and make me feel nervous every time I walk in. Three of all, never, ever shut me down when I am talking. This place needs to be reviewed because I'm surprised y'all are still open with the attitude and the way you treat people. Shame on all of the people who work there. If I could, I would rate it zero stars, but I can't, so I rated it four. This is like if the Joker ran the DMV. Just pure chaos. Sitting in that line is like a never-ending cycle of hitting your shit on those Razor scooters. I'd rather watch Cam Newton screw up the Super Bowl five more times than have to sit in that line again. But, on a more serious note, 
we have a problem in this country. A problem that's so widespread and so integrated that you may not even know it exists. Ageism. Most of us teens have experienced it in some way. Whether it's getting kicked out of a Target because you happen to be in the women's section, or being accused of stealing a mannequin in Falk, it is a problem that has truly affected us all. So what can we do to solve this problem? Well, Carter, I'll tell you. Not all teens are these vape-addicted, shoplifting, hormone-enraged monsters. Only most of us are like that. Yeah, have any of you actually bothered to talk to a teenager? I know, right? It's always, what are you doing on my property with that blowtorch? Not, are you doing okay? I mean, mental health is a serious problem with teenagers. Have you ever actually bothered to talk to your kid about why he shaved his head like Heisenberg instead of just calling them a mouth breather? I guess you've been watching Stranger Things like everyone else. Ugh, typical teenagers. That's all we have for you guys tonight. We hope you enjoyed this first episode, and there's like a... What do you think? Mm, probably like a 2% chance we're coming back after this monologue. But anyways... We're kind, you mixes here! No, we're just kidding. You guys get Rachel. We're just kidding. We love you, Rachel. It's gonna be a great show. Lots of laughs for everybody. Yes, yes it is. And before we go, we're gonna have some fun facts before the actual show. Loads are better than Home Depot. Epstein didn't kill himself. The prequels are better than the sequels. Originals are superior. Hi, Hungry. I'm Dad. Office is better than Friends. There's only one man who can save us. Go Exotic! Good night! New life is beautiful. But, to sum it all up in one word, babies are... Ugly. <sighs> Ungrateful. <laughs> Bald. But, it doesn't have to be this way. At least not anymore. My name is Kathy Nels, and I am the CEO and founder of Baby Wigs. Baby Wigs is a baby and parent approved product made specifically for tiny people with even tinier heads. Parents, this is a treat for both you and your little tot. But think about the amount of shame that babies feel every single time they see a head of luscious locks. It must be insurmountable. But don't just take my word for it. Here are some of Babywig's most valued customers. It's true. When I was just a wee babe, my little old baby noggin would flush in embarrassment whenever I saw what I couldn't have. Hair. I was what many would refer to as an ugly baby. And they're right. I was hideous. That is, until I found the baby wigs. I mean, it really changed my life. Cut the camera, cut the camera. With my baby wig, I wasn't ashamed of my lumpy little baby head. Even though my skull wasn't fully formed, I knew something was off. But as I like to say, big hair, don't care. But of course I did care because, you know, I was getting a wig and I, you know, I need a wig. With baby wigs, you no longer need to worry about being the fashion faux pas of the annual family reunion. That's the baby's fault, not yours. When I got my baby wig, I didn't have to worry about going to the grocery store with my mom, <laughs> mother, and having someone trying to Take this old melon. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. That, that was that was a kidnapping. That's not a universal experience. My baby wigs have withstood the test of time, and now my little kitties are running around in them as well. It's honestly so heartwarming to see the same wigs that shaped my childhood be given new life. And if you pay only five dollars extra, you get a matching father-son toupee. I've honestly never felt closer to my little boy. Why spend quality time with your family when you can spend money and get quality wigs for your family? While you always hear about ugly babies, you'll never hear anything about ugly baby wigs. The glamour, the glitz, it's not so easily overlooked. As I used to say, goo goo ga, goo ga. And I still live by that to this day. <clears throat> me, me, me. Baby Wigs is brought to you by the same company that brought you the retractable shovel and dog crocs.
understand I've changed my plans Cause I, I'm in love with my future And I can't wait to meet her And I, I'm in love But not with anybody else I want to get to know supposed to be lonely now no i'm supposed to be unhappy without someone else but aren't i someone i i like to be your answer babe cause you're so But I know better than to drive you home Cause you'd invite me in And I'd be yours again I, I'm in love with my future Good evening, students, staff, and parents of Audrey Kell, and welcome to your weekly update. I'm Rachel Rudolph, and this is my co-host, Ashna Pato. Good evening! How are you doing, Rachel? I am awful, Ashna. Well, thanks for that. Today, Apple removed everyone's favorite video game from the App Store. You guessed it, Fortnite. Gamer girls and boys are not happy. Apple should know better than to give gamers another reason to think that they're oppressed. I guess this wasn't a victory royale. A sad day for the gamers, isn't it, Rachel? It sure is. And now for our entertainment section. Netflix has just come out with a new dating show called Indian Matchmaking. And with that being said, I will be passing this right back around to Ashna. No, no, it's, it's okay, Rachel. I, I think you can take this one. Are you sure? I feel like you might have more, um, experience with that topic. Why is that? No reason. Anyways, Indian matchmaking is a modern take on arranged marriages. And for those of you watching and wondering, arranged marriages still happen? Yes, they still happen. Netflix's new show gives an inside look to the entire process. Now Indian representation in Hollywood consists of doctors, lawyers, and matchmakers. Yay! Very insightful, Ashna. And now we take a trip all the way to Australia, where a small town's local emus named Kevin and Carol have been banned from local pubs due to bad behavior. Well, folks, I guess the pub owners didn't find their behavior emusing. Rachel, the jar. Really, I didn't think it was that bad. The jar. Moving on to some more international news. I would like to preface this segment with this is completely real and we actually did not make this up. Um, thousands of people gather in a small German town dressed up as Smurfs to break the Guinness World Record of largest gathering of human Smurfs. We actually have someone who attended the rally here to tell us a little bit about it. Hey, ich bin ein deutscher Schlumpf. Schlümpfe sind cool. Das Festival war prahlerisch. Liebte es Schönheit. Die Leute stanken und waren blau, aber OMG, es hat so viel Spaß gemacht. Cool. Das Festival war prahlerisch. Liebte es Schönheit. Die Leute stanken und waren blau, aber OMG. Okay, well, uh, guten Tag. And for our final segment, we wanted to cover social media. 
Twitter erupted in a debate last night about what drink 2020 would be. My personal take is pure, bright, germaceutical ultra bleach. And that concludes our show tonight. Have a wonderful night. Uh, welcome to the first edition of Teacher Team Time tonight. I am your host, Quinn Buffner, and today's guest is the amazing, talented, great teacher, Billy Hook. What's up? Say hi, Billy Hook. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Thank you, Quinn, for having me on here. Honored, honored to be the first guest. Am I the first guest? You are. You are the first guest. All right. Hopefully not the only one. So uh, uh, I, have, I have a couple questions for you, for you Billy. What, what makes you think that you're uh, better than the other psych teachers? Uh, I mean, I don't know if I've ever said that, but, you know, uh, I have a pretty good act like it. But. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully it doesn't come off like that, but, I mean, I don't think I'm better than, but I feel like we, we as a psych team make sure that everybody is prepared for the AP psych exam at the end of the year. So yeah, yeah. how is uh, how is COVID um, how, how is that impacting your learning schedule? And, and how, how teachers how, how teachers are um, you know teaching from home? Do you think that mm -hmm. this is something that's like adversely affecting kids' education in the long run? Um, yes, I, I I do think in the long run, especially with younger kids, it's going to have a have a really big impact. Um, I'm hoping that. Most high schoolers are able to kind of adapt to it, but I guess we'll we'll see. Mrs. Brooks. Yeah. What do you think about that? She's been, I mean, in my she's been great so far. Very understanding of everything. Um, very, you know, letting teachers kind of do what they think is best. Uh, I really enjoyed having her as our principal so far. Yeah. So, so when did you first realize that you, uh, you had a passion for teaching? Probably, I probably decided I wanted to be a teacher, like my junior, senior year of high school. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, mom, mom, hey, mom, mom, God. mom, no, oh. I, I, I mom, I texted you, I, you didn't, you didn't get the text? Check, mom, ch mom, check your phone. Ch yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, just, just cut. I gotta, gotta think. Uh, yeah, all right. all right, mom. I love you too. Yep. <laughs> so what's, what's your waist size nowadays? Waist size? Hey, I, I, I hold it like a 32 waist. Sheesh, 32? <laughs> so I, I, do, I do have a question for you. What do you... What, what do you have to say to your, your freshmen that are just coming into the class? What, give me, give me a second. Ma! No, ma, ma, cut, cut it off. I'm, I'm doing an interview. No, no, he, he can't hear me. I'm, I'm, it's muted. Yeah, I, I know he sucks. Yeah, I don't think that he's interesting either, but they do. All right, thanks, mom. <laughs> yes, mom. I'm your little sugar plum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I, I thank you, mom. So, um, uh, what, what do you do for fun? You like reading? I do. Uh, yeah. I like to read. I like to go, like to go backpacking. Uh, um, what, what are you reading? Right now I'm not reading anything. Yeah. I didn't think so. Yeah. Um, right now I'm, I'm, I'm reading a really nice book. It's called if I did it by OJ Simpson. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a really big fan of his works. Yeah. Um, oh, well, what do you the think time? about? All right, all right. So, um, you know, it is 1:40 in the afternoon, which means it's time to play the game. Spin that wheel, everybody. So, uh, you know, right here, I've got a. That's not the. That's not the right tab. That's not the right tab. <laughs> All right, spin the wheel. So um, here's how the game works, right? There's a wheel. There's a, there's a couple options here, and I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel. Whatever it lands on, you got to do on the next show, Billy. All right? So just tell me when you're ready. All right, go ahead and spin, Quinn. All right, we're going to spin that wheel. Turn. 
wins. All right, okay, Mr. Well, I mean, All right, guys, tune in you know, next time on the next episode of Teacher Time tonight. Billy Hook is going to release his tax returns in the full on the next episode, guys. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's mostly going to be it. Uh, I'd like to thank my guest, Billy Hook, today. Um, I had better things to do, but this is what I did with my time. Thank you, everybody. Mr. Hook. Uh, uh, Keely, next time, can we get the good one? Can we get uh, Stitt? No? All right. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-ba-ba